Hello. In this session, we're going to focus on the basics of jumping. Jumping is something that people tend to do a lot less as they mature, but that's no reason to not and advocate for you to put some kind of jump into your practice every once in a while. These are going to be some basics for you. Start standing nice and tall, parallel hip distance. All you do is you keep your heels on the floor, lift one forefoot, toes and forefoot up as much as you can off the floor, and then release that. Then the other foot, toes and forefoot, lift up, keeping the heel down and return. I'm not shifting my weight back in space. I just stand tall and try and pick the toes and forefoot up as much as I can, then release. And then the other side without shifting back in space. So you have six more to go there. One foot at a time, easy, six. This will help you prepare for the landing. Five, which is a great thing to focus on. Breathe even not often thought about. Three, because when you say jump, most people think about the up part, but really the down part is equally, if not more important than the takeoff. Easy, breathe. And then lift, 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 lift. Now, put that in your mind. We're gonna do a squat. You're gonna keep your toes on the floor, but do the same action. Bend your ankles. Think of pulling your toes up and keeping the heel bones on the floor, and then return. So that ankle motion of really bending to pull your body down will help you jump safely over time. Again, we're not lifting the toes up, we're just using the same act, a, a joint action of trying to pull the top of the foot towards the front of your shin bone, right? That's all that we're doing, that's all a squat is in terms of your lower leg, easy. So the front of your ankles are very active as you squat. Bend, pull the top of your foot towards the front of your shin bone. Let's do four more of those. Changing your focus as you bend. Breathe deeply, four. Really good one. Take your time. Again, easy. Bend, breathe deeply, three. Action job. Hips sit back, you lean forward, changing your focus, two. Good work there. One more time. Again, easy. Bend, really great job. Now, you're going to lift up one heel, reach the arms out just to get some circulation to your upper body and then release the heel down. Other heel lift up, 10 toes stay on the floor, easy, and down, and you can see that I'm shifting side to side here, eight. If my hip is not going out to the side, I have to lift the other heel up, seven. Easy breathe, take your time, stretch, lift that heel up, six, great job there. Reach, lift that heel up, five, nice work, control. Easy, lift, four, beautiful work, control. Easy, lift, three, excellent work there, stretch. Reach two, mm -hmm. one more time, easy, reach. Now the arms are gonna bend and go forward. You're gonna try to lift up both heels and lower them down. Again, arms bend to come forward, easy four. Feel free to get next to a wall here, a piece of furniture to help your balance. Three, great job, return. Easy, lift up, two, slowly return. Again, so the up is slow and the down is slow. Let's do five more of those. If you take a tumble, that's okay, meaning you slam down to the floor quickly, that's all right. You just get practice. Easy, breathe, four, and then return. Again, just getting that lower leg to prepare itself. Three, really great job. Again, easy, reach, two, mm-hmm, one more time. Again, easy, reach, uh-huh. Now you're gonna bend your knees, arms go back, straighten and lift the heels up. Heels down straight leg, bend the knees, arms go back. And then straighten the legs first, then lift the heels up, the elbows bend forward. Heels lower, straight knees bend, breathe. Straighten the legs first, lift the heels up next. Straight knees, heels down, knees bend. Straight legs first, heels up, arms bend. Straight knees, heels down, knees bend. Straight legs first, heels lift, elbows bend. Three more, lower, bend, straighten, lift, two more, lower, bend, good, straighten, lift, one more, lower, bend, good, straighten, lift, lower, bend, rest, excellent job. All you're gonna do is take a little bit of a wider stance. You're gonna pick up the outside of the foot and make a nice circle with the foot here. So the toes stay on the floor, the heel is pretending that it's orbiting the foot. Three, easy breathe. Two, try and roll over on the toenail side of your foot, reverse. Get the toenails to touch the floor. If you're wearing sneakers, no big deal. The top of that shoe tries to touch the floor. Four, easy breathe. Three, really good job there. Take your time. Two, one more time. Mm -hmm. Other side, shift your weight over, pick up the heel. The heel is going around your toes so much that the toenails are being pulled into the gravitational force of your heel. Three, 
your whole foot's flipping and rolling around. Two, really great job. Now reverse, other way around. Five, take your time all the way around. Four, really good job there. Easy. Three, excellent work. Breathe deeply. Two, mm -hmm. one more time. Easy. Now you're gonna have one leg forward, other leg back, not the biggest stance. Straighten your legs. Knees bend, heels down. Make sure the hip does not go out to the side as those knees bend. Legs straighten, heels lift, elbows bend, heels lower, knees bend, hips go back, easy. Heel bones down, straighten the legs, heels lift, straight knees, heels down, heels down, knees bend. Heels down, legs straighten, knees straight, heels lift, knees straight, heels lower, heels down, knees bend. Heels down, legs straighten, knees straight, heels lift, lower, bend, lean forward, straighten, lift. You got it, lower, bend, lean forward, straighten, lift. Three more, lower, great, bend, nice, straighten, lift, beautiful, lower, bend, you got it, straighten, lift, one more, lower, bend, good, straighten, lift, lower, bend, rest, other leg forward, other leg back, I'll do it facing forward, hip distance, it's not the biggest stance front to back. Easy bend. This really helps stretch out specifically the back ankle a lot. Arms go back. Hip does not get to go out to the side even though it might want to. Knees straighten. Heels lift, elbows bend forward. Heels down, legs straight. Mm -hmm. Heels down, knees bend. Uh -huh. Heels down, legs straight. Legs straight, heels lift. Knees straight, heels lower. Heels down, bend, and stretch. Great, lift, and lower. Lots of balance there, bend, good, and stretch, nice. Lift, and lower, great, bend. Whole body's involved, stretch, uh-huh, lift, and lower, great, five more. Bend, easy, stretch, great, lift, and lower, five. Bend, change your focus, stretch, lift, and lower, four. Bend, hips are square, stretch. Lift, and lower three, bend, lean forward, stretch, great, lift, lower two, one more time, bend, you got it, stretch, great, lift, and lower, bend, excellent work, legs wide apart, knees bend, straighten, now lift the heels up, and lower them down, yes, bend, great, straighten, and lift, lower, good, Bend, breathe, straighten, lift, great, lower, nice, bend, good, stretch, yes, lift, lower, five more, bend, great, stretch, your body can lean forward when you bend, lower, four more, you can lean a bit forward, mm -hmm. stretch, great, lift, and lower, three more, bend, great, stretch, nice, lift, and lower, two more, bend, Stretch, good, lift, lower, one more time, bend, great, stretch, lift, lower, bend, and stand tall. Bring your legs together more. Now, one easy way to get in jumping is just to step over to the side and pick up one foot. Step and pick up the foot. So you reach over and pick up the other foot. Reach, reach deeply, and reach. Now, the leg that you're uh, leaving behind, think of pushing with those toes. Lift the heel, push with those toes. Lift the heel, push. Lift the heel, push with the toes. Easy push is a gentle way to start jumping. Easy breathe, six more please. Six, side to side. Five, great job there. Four, nice. Three, beautiful. Two, one more time. One, little rest, great. So that little sense of pushing off with that standing leg is really what jumping is all about. And it's the landing we're gonna focus on now. Bend your knees, straighten. As you lift the heel, the leg goes out to the side. Land together, down. Straighten, as you lift the heel, the leg out, put it down, both knees bend. Straighten, lift the heel, shift over, both knees bend. Straighten, lift the heel, over you go, bend. Straighten, lift, lower, bend, straighten. Make that step smaller to help your balance be easier and less intense. Lift, 
Lower, great job, bend, straighten, lift that heel, stretch over, and bend. jumping, believe it or not, takes a lot of practice. Especially if you've not done it when you were younger, it's harder to learn as you get more experienced in life. Easy, it can be harder to understand all of the mechanics that are involved in jumping. When you're younger, you just tend to just do it and not think about it so much. When you get older, a lot more thought tends to be involved, and then rest, excellent job. So, Feel free to get next to a wall or bar or countertop or piece of furniture to help you, right? You can do small little jumps, itty bitty. You just bend a bit. As you straighten, think of throwing your arms forward and letting your toes leave the floor and then bend deeply and it's slow on the bend. The up is quick, the landing is slow and longer. Mm -hmm. Up, land, easy. Your toes may not leave the floor, they don't have to breathe. Up, land, bend those knees and ankles. Pull the front of your ankle, your front your top of your foot to the front of that shin bone to help you. Great job, easy, land, great job. Easy, five more to go, great job. Breathe, five, really bend to land. Breathe, pull your body towards the floor, four. Great job, easy, three. Nice work there, mm -hmm. two, one more time, mm -hmm and rest. Excellent job. So hopefully that was not so aggressive and so otherworldly that it was off-putting, right? Getting your body used to really landing is the uh, foundation for springing up. Because if you land and don't bend to absorb and get deeper into the uh, joint range of motion, it's harder on your body, but it's also harder to lift off. So that sense of bending to push and then bending to push is really really foundational now we're going to try with one leg forward other leg back that we did earlier bend easy and jump bend easy jump that's right easy breathe that's right two more like this mm -hmm. one more time rest other foot forward i'll face you going this way and again, when you bend, make sure the hip does not go out the side and the knees don't come together. The knees go forward. We bend. Throw those arms up. Bend. Easy. Jump. Three more. Take your time. Three. Great, everyone. Breathe. Uh-huh. Two. One more time. Really land. Easy. And rest. Excellent job. All right. Now I'm going to try with our legs open a little bit. Bend. Now, when you jump, reach the arms out to the side and then bend. Out to the side, bend. That's right. Easy. Bend. You can lean forward when you bend. Easy. Bend. Five more, please. Easy. Five. Take your time. Your toes may not leave the floor. Four. They don't have to. Easy. Three. Really good job. Two. One more time. Yeah. Stand up. Excellent job. Feel free to get next to a wall. Piece of front of you, gonna reach one hand back to the same side, ankle, foot, to breathe and calm down away from that practice. That was excellent work. So jumping, it's achievable, it's obtainable, right? It may feel like, why are we doing this? But it really encourages your uh, lower body, your ankle, toes, foot, lower leg, to really get used to adjusting quickly. And that quickness is really healthy for your long-term well-being, right? You want to be able to adjust quickly with your lower limbs to a changing surface, shall we say, that can really help with uh, fall prevention, but also dexterity and navigating everyday life. Because when you stumble, and we all stumble on the ground, how you uh, catch yourself can be a matter of quickness in your lower leg, specifically the ability of your body to react quickly to the stimuli. And that's really, really foundational and easy to practice. So while uh, it may feel like jumping doesn't apply directly to your normal live experience, the skills you gain from practicing jumping, specifically focusing on bending and up and then bending, is really great for your long-term health and well-being. Let's take your hands and your thighs, legs parallel hip distance. Bend your knees, chin to chest, heart goes back in space, press to the back of the body towards the wall behind you. Stay there, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, push the floor and stand up nice and tall. Great job. Again, chin to chest, bend your knees, breastbone goes back in space, rounding your spine. 
Stay there. Nice breath in. Great job, everyone. Push the floor away. Stand up nice and tall. Two more here. Knees bend. Heart goes back in space. Rounding your spine. Stay there. Deep breath in. Inhale. Nice and strong. Mm -hmm. Push the floor with your legs. Stand up nice and tall. And again, bend. Pull the top of your foot towards the front of your shin bone by bending the ankle. Round your spine. Pelvis round, uh, tilts. Bring your tailbone towards your breastbone. You got it. And then stand up nice and tall. Interlace your fingers. Palms to the sky. Big breath in. Legs parallel hip distance. Stretch all the way over to the side. Great job. And then bring it up tall. Then all the way over to the side. Great job. Up tall. Mm -hmm. Bend your knees, twist around right here. Those knees are going to rotate to the angle with you. Straighten up center. Knees bend, keep the back of the heel bone on the floor. Bring up nice and tall. Big breath in. Press the air down, grow tall through the crown of your head. Push the floor with your legs and get ready for whatever is next in front of you. Congratulations. So I hope that you enjoyed maybe your first time jumping, maybe not. But it's always good to practice new things. And again, you don't have to leave the floor to experience the joy of jumping. My name is Eric. This is Nucleus Strength. I look forward to getting stronger with you in the future. Yours in good health. Take care.